I'm Adam. And I'm Rex. And this, and this is, is Where There's, there's a, a Way, there's, there's a way. The way. Hey Rex, do you believe in witches? Sure, I see them all over the place during Halloween. No, not the green face costumes that are replicating the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh, then you mean like Harry Potter? No, I don't mean people flying around on broomsticks either. Oh, though you mean like the Scarlet Witch from the Marvel movies? I love those movies. I'm not talking about movies or books. I'm talking about witches in real life. Do you know what Eckhart Tolle said about magic in real life? No, I have no idea who that is. He's a self-help teacher from Germany. He said, overall, children don't realize the magic that can live inside their own heads. Better even than any movie. Do you know what that means? No, what does that mean? I've got a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. I don't know what that has to do with anything about witches. Regardless, today's book is about an Italian grandma who teaches her granddaughter how to be a witch. Let's get started. Strega Nona, Her Story, as told by Tommy DePola. It all began one night a long time ago in a little village in the hills of Calabria, in the country now known as Italy. Almost everyone was fast asleep. The weather was fierce that dark night. The wind blew and blew. A cold rain fell, and a baby was about to be born. Oh, my poor wife. Giuseppe, the young husband, said to Zia Rosa, who was there to help. Every child of ours was brought into the world by Grandma Concetta. But with this terrible weather, how will she be able to come down from her little house on the hill? Hours passed. The wind blew harder. More rain fell. Still, the baby didn't come. Where is the baby? Giuseppe asked. Zia Rosa lit a candle. Perhaps it is waiting. She answered. For what? Giuseppe asked. For me. Cried Grandma Concetta, bursting through the doorway on a gust of wind. No grandchild of mine can be born without me. Taking off her cloak and rolling up her sleeves, she headed for the bedroom. Follow me, Rosa. Now the baby will come. And sure enough, a baby girl was born in no time at all. Ah, said Grandma Concetta, looking down at the new bambina. She shall be called Nona, and she will become a strega. As soon as little Nona could walk, Grandma Concetta took her along when she gathered herbs and weeds for her lotions and potions. Grandma Concetta was a strega, and all the villagers came to her for cures and advice on many things. Ah, Nona Line, here is Rosmarino. Rosemary. Very good for growing there, especially on Baldeds. Also excellent as furniture polish. And the Arisaglio Selvatico. Wild garlic. The only thing for an upset stomach. Come along. Let's see what else we can find. By the end of their walk, Grandma Concetta's basket would be filled to overflowing. When little Nona was old enough to go to school, she was sent to study with the sisters of the convent. There she met Amelia and they became best friends right away. Nona helped Amelia with her lessons, especially spelling and writing. And Amelia, in turn, loaned Nona her pretty hair ribbons, even though Nona didn't ask for them. One day, Amelia looked at Nona and said, We should do something different with your hair. So Amelia curled it. Perhaps the braids are better, Nona. Amelia said, Best of all, Nona and Amelia liked to visit Grandma Concetta. While Nona held the big book of spells and Amelia turned the pages, Grandma Concetta always said, In you the first time you looked at you, Nona, that one day you would become a strega, but he had no idea how you would have two little girls to pass my magic down to it. I am filled with contentezza. Contentment. Nona and Amelia watched Grandma Concetta mix her lotions and potions. They listened as she talked to the villagers about their troubles, headaches, warts, baldness, and other worries, and gave them her remedies, along with good advice. As you can see, 
Grandma Conchetta is not the type of witch that puts spells on people. What type of witch is always hanging out with little kids in the garden or kitchen? A green witch finds her power in nature and studies the flora around her and grows her own herbs to use in potions. A kitchen witch infuses her cooking with magic. Are you making these things up? These are real things that people actually believe. Do you know what I believe? What's that? I believe these aren't the acts of a witch. These are the acts of a grandma. If I remember correctly, my grandmother spent 80% of her life either in the garden or in her kitchen. 80%? Wow, how'd you come up with that number? It's an estimation. But did your grandma make potions like Grandma Conchetta? She had an aloe plant that she'd rub on me when I got sunburned. And she made her magic drink. A magic drink, you say? She said it cured all her ailments. What was in it? I don't know. She never let me have any, but she made it every day before dinner. And after all the villagers had gone back down the hill at the end of the day, Grandma Conchetta gave the girls wonderful plates of steaming hot pasta. It appeared from her pasta pot as if by magic, and it tasted so special that Nona and Amelia always asked Grandma Conchetta what her secret ingredient was. But Grandma Conchetta would only smile and say nothing. When the girls finished at the convento, the convent school, it was decided that they would go to the city and enter the Academia del Strega, the academy for stregas, where they would learn the most modern ways to do magic. Amelia loved the city, the bustle, the noise, and most of all, the shopping. And she loved learning to use the academy's machines and the new scientific ways to do spells. No. She said, This is also much better than the old ways Grandma Concetta uses. But Nona missed the old spells. She didn't like the city streets, and she longed for walks in the country with Grandma Concetta, whom she missed most of all. So Nona went home and climbed the hill to Grandma Concetta's house. Well, cara mia, Grandma Concetta said after hearing Nona's story, The Academia is not for everyone. It if a feeling you need to be right here, with me. So Nona began learning to be a strega from the best strega of them all, Grandma Conchetta. She learned how to mix lotions and potions. She turned the pages of the big book for Grandma Conchetta, and she watched the way Grandma Conchetta treated each villager who walked up the hill to ask her for help. Every day, Nona cleaned and polished Grandma Conchetta's pasta pot. She knew it was magic, but Grandma Conchetta never showed her how to use it. And whenever Nona asked about it, Grandma Conchetta always answered, There will be time, no, Nona. Now, here is how you make the lotion to remove words. Nona, Grandma Conchetta, it's Amelia, on for a visit. Oh, it was so good to see Amelia again. They all kissed and talked. Amelia talked the most, telling Nona and Grandma Conchetta all about the machines at the academy and the fancy scientific method she now knew how to use. Did you learn any of the old spells? Grandma Conchetta asked. Oh, yes indeed. Amelia answered. Watch the goat. She opened her notebook and chanted some strange words. Capra, goat, teto, rof, and presto. With a bang and a cloud of smoke, Grandma's goat was on the roof. Ecco fatto. That's it. She exclaimed proudly. It's a spell for moving things up. We use it to put things back on shelves. Isn't that wonderful? Very good, Amelia. Now, will you get my goat down? Grandma Conchetta asked. Amelia looked through her notebook. She looked and looked. I must have gone shopping day today. She said. Maybe Nona can do it. Grandma Conchetta said. Nona looked up at the roof. Then she ran into the house and came back with a bottle of olive oil. She climbed up the tree next to the little house and poured some oil on the roof. The goat slipped and slid right off. Oh, Nona, how marvelously clever you are, Amelia said. But look what I have from the academy. She opened her borsa, purse, and pulled out a big piece of parchment. This is my diploma that says I am a genuine strega. Now, don't worry. Grandma Concetta, Nona, I'm not going to give you any competition, she said laughing at her own joke. 
but I am opening up business in the town, on the other side of the mountain. It is much bigger and busier than our little village. And it has so many shops. You must come and see me. Well I'm off. Arrivederci, sweet nonna. Sweet grandma concept. That poor goat. What's wrong with the goat? First off, he was magically transported to the roof of Grandma Conchetta's house. How would you like it if that happened to you? You're right. That would be very confusing and not very safe. I've gotten on the roof of my house a couple of times to clean out the gutters and also trim a tree that was hanging over it. It was scary each time because it was hot, high up, and the footing wasn't very good. Now imagine you had olive oil poured on you so that you had to slip and fall. Yeah, there must have been some magic there so that the goat didn't get hurt. That evening, Nona and Grandma Conchetta sat outside before Nona went home. Nona was very quiet. Nona Lina, cara. Grandma Conchetta said. What is the matter? I guess I'll never be a real strega like Amelia. You won't ever have a diploma. Da. Grandma Conchetta said. You don't need a diploma to be a true strega. You already have everything you need. You have the spirit and kindness that come from the art. And when he pass my practice over to you, he will tell you the ingredient segreto. The secret ingredient. Then you will be not only a true strega, but a great one. Years went by. One day, Grandma Conchetta called Nona to her. It's time, Nona. I am ready to retire. I am going to spend the rest of my days at the seashore, and you must take my place. You shall lead my little house, my book of spells, my herbs, and my remedies. And in the cupboard, I've left you my pasta pot, with something inside it. And with that, Grandma Conchetta said, From this day forth, you shall be known as Strega Nona. Then she put on her cloak, picked up her bag, and started down the hill. Nona stood in front of the little house that was now hers. She waved and waved until Grandma Conchetta was out of sight. Nona wiped away a tear and walked inside. She went straight to the cupboard and looked in the pasta pot. There she found a letter. Cara strega Nona, my magic pasta pot is now yours. Whenever you are angry, sing the little song written here and the pot will bubble and boil and fill with fresh hot pasta. When you have no, sing the second song. But then you must blow three kisses and the pot will stop. For that is the ingredient segreto. Love. It is the same with all your magic. Always love. Your grandma concetta. Bubble bubble pasta pot. Boil me some pasta, nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to soup. Boil no pasta to fill me up. E no, e no, pasta pot. Add my pasta, nice and hot. So simmer than my pot of clay? Until I'm hungry another day. More years passed and Streganona was loved by everyone. She helped all the people who came to her with their troubles, even the priest and the sisters of the convent. She did have a magic touch. And always Streganona never forgot the ingrediente secreto. Life was happy in the little house on the hill. Streganona kept a goat, a peacock, a rabbit, and a dove for company. But Strega Nona was getting old, and she needed someone to help keep her little house and garden and her dear animals. So she went down to the village square and put up a sign. The next day, there was a knock on her door. The rest is history. People are always talking about cooking with the secret ingredient. A lot of restaurants do that. They worry that another place will steal the recipe for a secret blend of spices or something. How can it be a secret when so many people say that their secret ingredient is love? When you do something that you love, it always makes it better, I guess. So in a way, love is a magic that everyone possesses. Exactly. I've heard that love is all you need. Well, if you've loved this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm Adam. And I'm Rex. And this, and this is... is 
Where there's, where a, there's a Williams, a Williams there's, there's, a there's a way. Did you know Strega Nona's appearance is based off of Punchinello, a fat clown from Italian puppet shows? <laughs>